and in a not at all surprising turn of events, I spent just about the entire budget again. Um, there's a brand new vehicle waiting for us at the dealership, and this time it is actually something that is very, very, very useful because we bought a skid steer. We went ahead and did the entire deal ahead of time, like, you know, online, finalized everything, picked out all the options we want, and it's sitting literally just outside the dealership waiting for us. Now, I wanted to get a brand new one because I knew it was going to benefit us kind of in the long run, and we're going to be able to do a lot more jobs using this thing, and I think really all we're going to need for this is the little equipment trailer and the F-150, so I'm not going to worry about uh, bringing the Denali out there, although I'm really hoping that I'm not making a mistake by taking the F-150 and not the Denali. I was like, oh, it'll be fine. It's just a little skid steer, and then the more I thought about it, the more I was like, is it really just a little skid steer or like am I walking into a situation that's gonna be like horrible um we'll have to wait and see I think we're gonna be fine I'm crossing my fingers and hoping for the best I'm 99.9% .9 sure it's gonna be a-okay um this thing has hauled most things without issue um, except for that, uh, that razor, which was abnormally heavy, and I think that was more of an isolated scenario than it was a representation of this thing's hauling capability, because it's hauled some other vehicles with relative ease, so even on the lower down power level, which I did back it off to, um, I still think it's gonna do fine, even for something like a skid steer. So, cruising down this four lane on the way back to the garage, we've driven this route a lot, y'all are very familiar with this route, obviously. And I'm not really worried about the fact that y'all are familiar with this route. This route is going to just be one of those routes that we drive all the time. I mean, in the real world, you also have routes that you drive all the time when you live in a particular area. So let's go ahead and make a quick left on in here towards the garage. And I'm going to try not to tear this up too much. Oh, wow. That was probably, like, the smoothest we've, <laughs> we've actually done on the way in there. So it should be sitting right out back. And, yep, there it is. So that's actually our newest sort of a work purchase, we'll call it. And that one is actually going to enable us to do our sort of newest um, type of work, which is land clearing. So let's go ahead and get this thing lined up to where we can pick it up. And, oh, this is a wonderful morning. We legit get to pick this thing up. This is perfection. So, let's go ahead and we'll go inside real quick, make sure everything is all sorted, and then we will fire that thing up and get it on the trailer. So, let's go ahead and jump in, take a quick look around. Oh, dude, this thing is brand new. This thing looks amazing. I mean, really, it's completely untouched. And yes, we're good to go? Okay, cool. Thank you. Let's fire it up. It fires right up. Like, I mean, it legit sounds brand new. All right, let's raise this bucket up real quick. And I just want to be able to see exactly what I'm doing. I'll put it in low. And we will make our way on over to the trailer and get you up on it. So let's ease you up the ramps. Checking to make sure that we're not going to hit anything. Oh, this is the perfect size. I mean, it literally is... A equipment trailer, so this is technically what it's for. Oh, jeez. Uh-oh. We're having an issue. Okay, I think we're fine. We started to have a weight-related issue, but I think we're gonna be okay. I think. Alright, bucket is down. Stop this thing's engine. Get back into the F-150. And we're gonna just get a real quick picture. Well, wait, before we do that, before we get our real quick picture, let's see if we can get those ramps up off the ground. Come on, ramps. There we go. Okay, I think we're gonna be okay. That is definitely gonna be one for the photo album, though. That is for sure. Okay, so this is pretty much our newest work purchase. And you know what? I'm really happy we decided to do it. I'm really happy we decided to go for a um, skid steer because I think it's gonna do basically everything we need. You know what I mean? There's really not gonna be anything left up to the level of, well, we could do that, but unfortunately we don't have this, or don't have this, or don't have this. So, let's see. Uh, does raising the suspension on this thing really make that much difference to haul it? I don't know. Oh wait, it's not packed. Oh god! Strap down your cargo, jeez! Alright, let's turn it around. 
Oh, it's trying. This is this is definitely at the limit of what I would recommend hauling with this truck. It's actually probably over the limit. Um, and when I say rec what I would recommend hauling with this truck, I mean in the context of this particular engine setup that we've got on it right now. And as a matter of fact, I wonder if me having the suspension up like that is reducing my grip. And I think it was because the truck is actually performing a little better now that I've lowered the suspension back down. Because I don't think we have the weight balanced all that well. Um, but let's not worry about that at the moment. I think we're going to be okay. Although if we are, we are absolutely snails pacing it right now. I mean, this is about as snails pace as it can get. And I think we probably should have brought the Denali. I'm not gonna lie. Like, this thing, even getting it out of the dealership is gonna be a task. I mean, it really is. There's no other way I can word that. There's no other way I could put that together. It's gonna be a, a an adventure just to even get it out of here. Okay. Um... Should we make, like, an executive decision and run this thing home and get the Denali and come back? Probably. That's probably the best thing to do. I mean, but we're already on our way, though, and I feel like it'll be totally fine as soon as we get on pavement, and I'm kind of holding on to that. So, actually, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Unpack real quick. Let me run back here and see if moving it forward helps at all. Okay, stop, change, repack. Did that help? A little. It helped a little bit. I don't know why it... Well, it's actually probably the fact that we opted for a increased weight on the back of the skid steer. It's not the biggest weight that you can get, but it is more weight than you would have back there normally. And so I'm sure that's affecting us to some degree. This is going to be the worst part... And if we can get through this, we can get home. I have no doubt that we'll be able to get home as long as we can get through this. Almost there. Come on, I just need a little bit more distance. Oh, perfect. Beautiful. Sorry for everybody crossing the, uh, or driving down this road right now. There's a winch cable stre like stretched across it. I'm sure there's probably some law against that somewhere, but you know what? We're out of the uh, we're out of the woods, literally, and literally and figuratively, we are out of the woods. And let's see if we can make our way back home. We are bottoming out the trailer pretty bad. Eh, I I feel kind of bad doing this to the poor F-150. I should have brought the Duramax. God, it is, that trailer is so bottomed out. It's, it's like, smushed. It's genuinely smushed. Um, come on, pace. Nope. Just as we get pace, it slows back down again. I think it's just like the suspension in this, uh, in this trailer is not up to the task. We're rolling in high gear now, though. We've got the wheel speed and we've lost it. I was like, the wheel speed is back. Actually, the wheel speed is gone. God, I... I really, I didn't want to take the gooseneck because it was going to be so much bigger of a trailer than this skid steer was. But now I'm kind of regretting not taking the gooseneck because uh, that would have been a lot more suited uh, to what we're doing here. Like now, ooh, now we're fine. It, oh my God. Okay. Well, we've just wrecked. All right. And now we're kind of sideways on this bridge and we have to go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth to even get ourselves back moving again. Okay, this has... This has turned out to be completely awful. But, like, right now, if we could have it exactly as it is right now, then we'd be fine. Because, look, everything is okay at the present mo Well, that's not okay. But we're not really gonna pay attention to that right now, are we? No, because, well, it it's fine. As long as we ignore it. It's fine. <laughs> All right, here we go again. Yeah, now that we've got at least some open road, we can put it in high. We should be able to just cruise back home with only the occasional bottom out. You know, I say occasional bottom out, and, like, it... <laughs> It's becoming a lot more than occasional. Like, we had one back there. We had a couple coming out of the dealership. We had a couple of other ones at other times. 
we need to be using a different trailer for this. This is only for like four wheelers and side by sides, not for commercial machinery. And I'm learning that the hard way. So uh, learn from my mistake with this trailer. Uh, don't use it for commercial equipment like this. Only use it for like four wheelers and lighter weight side by sides. All right. Yep. Oh, look, it's the truck we should have brought in the first place. Okay. So let's get you all set up and in position. And by set up and in position, what I mean is unpacked, ramps down, engine of the F-150 off, and now we just get to take this thing off the trailer and basically set it in the uh, set it in the yard until we get our first call for it. We should have a couple, although we kind of have to start advertising the fact that we have one of these now. And I'm sure that once we start advertising the fact that we have one, we are absolutely going to get some calls. So let's get you all situated, back you in, and that should be good. I mean, we'll just let it chill right there, bring the bucket back down, and shut it down. Okay, and now we can just bring the F-150 back into the, uh, the driveway. And we will also let this trailer chill out kind of where it was going to be in the first place, um, which is right behind the F-150. Do not take out your mailbox. You kind of need that to, like, I don't know, receive mail. Um, stop it. You know, I would really prefer... There we go. I was like, I would really prefer if you would actually go where I was pointing you. Okay. Almost there. And boom. Boom. Okay, so we've got actually an insanely good lineup of trucks and equipment right now. Like, look at this. We've got the F-150. We've got the Duramax Dually. We've got the Gooseneck. We've got the Pull Behind. We've got our Power Wagon Crawler, which I don't know if we're going to keep in the long term or not, but we'll see. And we've got our brand new Skid Steer, so we can start doing work with that as well.